Hello. Hello. Where? Here we go. He's <laughs> barely a blip. There you go. <laughs> Michael, um, I've got a, um, a 17 year old daughter who is so jealous of me because I'm interviewing you. She's uh, convinced that she uh, knows you well enough to be in love with you. I have a 20 something uh, daughter who also uh, thinks you're the greatest. And I want to know if you have any analysis, if you can explain what makes you so darn appealing to people, especially I have no idea. women. You've had an incredible success for someone your age from really high-end, classy projects from Arrested Development through uh, Juno and everything else that you've done, what do you think is your professional appeal? What is it about your persona that really works, um, you know, from a movie point of view? I really don't know. I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I was just really lucky to get the part on the TV show. And then um, the movies I got to do after that really were just lucky, too. I mean, I think Jason Reitman was a fan of Arrested Development, so that kind of was how he was aware of me and, and um, yeah it's just you know you're as an actor you're really lucky to be able to to get to work on on things and especially things that you know um, that that you feel good about and that have some value so it's just it's really you know kind of a lot of luck now do you think in Arrested Development because that was a, a very had a very strong sensibility very comic sensibility it was very distinctive from a lot of a lot of just about anything else that had been on TV and that's why it had such this cult following the kind of sensibility that that movie, that uh, TV series sort of uh, exuded, do you think that sort of cast you for your career, at least so far? I mean, it seems to me that there are uh, there's a, a through line between uh, George Michael and Arrested Development through a, a number of your other characters in the, in the movies that you've done. Do you think that Arrested Development really created the Michael Sarah that we uh, all know? I don't know. It's really hard for me to say that, but um, it definitely was uh, hugely important. I think in terms of the opportunities that I've had since the show, um, you know, I think it kind of um, made people aware of me, I guess. Like. Now we get to Youth and Revolt. Now, it's just, now we're sort of up to speed, and you get to play, in effect, the Michael Sarah type character, and you also get to play against type with this, uh, this French guy, <laughs> Francois. Did, did you see that as a chance to sort of like, uh, you know, uh, make some kind of comment about the characters you've been playing? Do you see it as a, as a great chance to... It's a bit like, you know, Edward Norton sort of shocked the world when he came out and he played these, these dual characters in one of his first movies. Did you see it as, a, as an um, acting exercise, or how did you gravitate to uh, Youth and Revolt? I loved the writing. I loved the writing of the book, and I really wanted to be able to be a part of it. Um, but, you know, I didn't really see it as any... I mean, you're just, as an actor, you're really lucky to... to get attached to things, and, and especially if it's things that you like, you know, you don't have as much control over your career choices as people might think. Uh -huh. There aren't as many options as people might think. Huh. And have you, uh, now that you've uh, sort of mastered the Francois persona of the of the suave, uh, smooth mover, have you uh, noticed that trickling into <laughs> your uh, everyday affairs uh, in any way? No, no more than it already was. <laughs> I hate to see. It just channeled something that we didn't realize was uh, was yeah. there in your uh, in your output. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Portia, I'd like to sort of turn the tables uh, on you. Your character in Youth and Revolt is the experienced one. She's the one who takes control. She's in charge. She's I don't know. Manipulate might be too strong a word, but she's definitely affecting the way Michael's character is. And yet. Off camera, you are the relatively new one to the uh, the genre, and you're dealing with a relative pro at his age. Did you have any trouble sort of coming off as the confident, almost overbearing one in the movie, or did, was that actually a relief? Um, <laughs> definitely, yeah. It was kind of. I think it was easy for me to um, kind of connect with the character because it was so overwhelming, and I was in over my head so much that I kind of just was not scared <laughs> as scared it was it was a weird situation but definitely yeah now um, there are a number of people um, probably more of your generation than mine that are dying to find out about a couple of things one is the Scott Pilgrim uh, uh, movie is there something yeah. to that uh, for you and what can you tell us about it yeah uh, we finished shooting this year and it'll come out next summer I think and um, it's uh, it's based on these graphic novels that are really really fantastic and um, Anyone should check out who hasn't seen them. They're they're really worth kind of reading on as their own thing. They're really fantastic, and it's an Edgar Wright movie. So if you like his movies, I think you'll like it. He did Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, and it's definitely um, it, it's a it's he did a really amazing job. And how would you describe your character in that? Well, he's this guy that um, is in a band and uh, is kind of a bit of a loser, 
and uh, really lazy, and um, he he gets thrown into this situation that um, he has to really kind of take action. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, Portia, what's uh, what's next uh, for you? Um, I don't know. I'm 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 still kind of handling the shock of this whole story. <laughs> yeah. Now, Michael is, he didn't go through this too much, too many years ago. Is he giving any uh, pointers about how to handle the uh, the sudden fame and notoriety? <laughs> Not so much, huh? So, <laughs> no, I, no, I have I, no idea how to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. It's been a treat. I could go on all day. I'm glad to get a chance to meet you guys. You got a heck of a movie uh, to promote, and uh, oh, congratulations, so and uh, good luck, Thank and uh, you. your future endeavors. Thanks. Thank you. Nice okay. talking to you. Great. Thanks, you guys.